On this episode of Inside Scotiabank Arena, we're taking you behind the scenes of... Game presentation for your Toronto Raptors! What? Something you may not expect when coming to a Raptors game is the actual in-game fan experience. And trust me when I say there are so many moving parts that make it what it is. Everything from the presentation of the game to the music to the in-arena hosts, the TO crew, the DJ and so much more. Today I'm giving you a sneak peek of a Raptors game presentation and let me tell you it's going to be a busy one. So let's get started. I'm here with Kiri McBride, manager of game presentation for the Toronto Raptors. Kiri, you've got quite the role here on game nights. Tell us a little bit about what your job is. I feel really lucky. I get to sit courtside during the game and uh, our game presentation team, we're basically the team that puts on the show outside of basketball itself happening. So whether it's music happening during a timeout, dancers, throwing out t-shirts, all of that fun stuff. And my job is basically to help coordinate all those pieces um, and kind of be that voice to let everybody know what's happening happening at the same time. This is a role that you really got to be on your toes is what you're saying. It is. Wow. Yeah, we're really trying to think on the fly. Uh, things can change in a split second depending on the flow of the game or the music or the moment or say somebody gets injured, all of those things. It's just things that are playing into our overall show. A lot of moving parts. I'm here with Herbie Kuhn, in-house voice for your Toronto Raptors. Yeah, you! Me! You! Me! Herbie! Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, Herbie. <laughs> our fans recognize you as well. Like yep. I said, the voice of the Raptors. Tell us a little bit about your job and what your role is on game night. Emily, my role on game night, first of all, is to have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. If you want to get really technical, my responsibility is to relay to the fans in the arena mm -hmm. what's happening on the court in a professional and entertaining manner. So whether that's a basket, whether it's a substitution, whether it's one of the foul calls, whether it's the score at the end of a quarter, something promotional wise from our game operations department, my job is to say what's going on there to the people who are sitting out there and to do it in a way that's fun. Herbie, how long have you been doing this job? Can you believe it? It's been 24 years. 24 years. Okay, Herbie. Yes. You are so great at your gig. I'm wondering you, if you can teach me something. We can work on it. Okay. Are you confident? I see you're a confident I interviewer. So. I know that you can be a confident announcer okay. as well. One of my signature lines, if you will, that oh, I just I love that. to share mm -hmm. every single game when we do the introductions, because that's one of the things a public address announcer for basketball lives for, yes. is the starting lineup. Yes. And for me, when the lights go down and the video ends, it's two words, basketball fans. Basketball fans. On the count of three, two of us. Okay. One, two, three. Basketball fans! Now that we've seen how everything works in the control room and on the court, let's check in with the TO crew. They're responsible for pumping up the crowd during games and their pre-game meeting is happening right now. Let's go. I'm here with Shelly Feldman, part of the TO crew. Now we're currently here under the seats in the event room. This is where the TO crew operates out of. Shelly, tell us a little bit about what you and the rest of the TO crew do during games. Our team is responsible for the in-house entertainment during the game. So we have the north side crew, the dancers. Um, we've got uh, Kat and Mark, our announcers. We have the game presentation squads that are out there. And we're all working together to make the in-house entertainment show a great experience for our fans. I was speaking to Herbie earlier, and he mentioned that you are one of the OG members here since day one, is that true? Can you confirm? Yes, I have been here since day one, and I want to say I started in 1994 when the World Championship of Basketball was here just before 95 when this became a team. Wow. So I worked in the old Sky Dome. Uh, instead of having a room, we actually worked out of an uh, 18-wheeler. Wow. <laughs> All right, game time's approaching, so let's head back to the court where we're going to talk to one of the Raptors in arena hosts. Come on. 
I'm here with Mark Strizzi, one out of two of the in arena hosts for your Toronto Raptors. Strizzi, yep. you've got a pretty awesome gig here. It's fun. It's oh, fun. Lots of fun. Okay, so walk us through what your job is on game night. Uh, well, game night, I mean, I get to come here nice and early. We do some hits with my co-host, Kat, in the beginning. We let them know what's happening with the entertainment side of things here with the Raptors game. And then throughout the game, we get the crowd hype, whether it's giveaways, whether it's contests. And of course, there's always the intros for the Raptors, so it's lots of fun. He is your five-time NBA All-Star, wearing number seven. Give it up for Kyle L -l 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 Lowry. I love your energy when you are introducing the players. It is amazing. <laughs> fun. So now I have to ask, mm -hmm. what are the chances you could like teach me how you introduce players? Because you're such a pro. No problem. Can we do that? Absolutely. Let's make it happen. So he is your five-time NBA All-Star. Kyle L -l 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 Lowry. Talk to me. No fans! Would you please welcome the starting lineup for your Toronto Raptors! Hey, so I'm about to do a t-shirt toss. I'm gonna head out there. These are two t-shirts. This is perfect. Thank you. We're approaching fourth quarter, and I'm pretty excited because we're about to head onto the court to cue the fourth quarter flag. So follow me. Raptors well, fans, we're getting ready for the fourth quarter, and the Raptor wants you to get loud. So Raptor, let's get them to crank it up. I told you, lots of moving parts when it comes to game presentation for your Toronto Raptors. Keep that in mind next time you're in the building for a game. Bye!